Right, so this is my new battery for a scooter that I'm upgrading to um, a higher voltage and a higher capacity. I've got my old one here, this is the old scooter battery. Now the problem I've got is I've only got that much space. That is all the space that I'm allowed to put the battery. And as you can see, this is bigger. So I've got to build it differently. Those three need to be connected, but it needs to go like that. And then the same on this side, like that. And then again, like so. And again, like so. Help if I point the camera at the batteries. <laughs> so first things first, I'm just going to put the nickel on the bits that I can put the nickel on. I can't put nickel on that yet because that's on a on a curve because that'll end up having to sit like that. So I'm going to put nickel there. Can't do there. Can't do there. I could put nickel there. No, I can't do anywhere else. And again on the other side, I'll just put a little mark where I can put the nickel. Uh, so I can't put any nickel there, but I can there, I can do all them six there. I can do all them six, and then I can't do any of them, but I can do all them six there. Okay. Right, this is where the old part starts. So I've done that, it's the easy bit, it's the first turn. So these batteries will go together like so. Now, this negative and these negatives and then positives need to be connected together, but this battery is going all the way around here. So I'm going to have to have some nickel coming out of here going all the way down and then to these two on this side and the same kind of with this these two negatives and them three positives need to be connected to that single positive negative there so this is going to get full. Right, so that's that main connection done there I've done that main connection over here and I need to work on some of the connections. Oh, the fun. Right, so we've almost finished. That's cell number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. I've just got to put the negative end on now, which I'm working on right here. And what I've got to do here is I'm going to get this, I'm going to put that on top of there spot weld them together and then spot weld them pieces onto the end of the battery I'm going to do that now right that's that piece done and I soldered it together to, as well just to just to finish it off nice bit of solder now I'm going to put it on the battery there we go all done and dusted nicely done I think if I say so myself I'm just going to test it to see if it works. I've got it turned on. There's the scooter it's going in. There's the battery. That's the new controller, which is a 20 to 25 amp. It was in this little box, but it's too big to fit in anyway. I couldn't get it in anyway. So I've decanted it into that. I've also got the old controller running. See the little light flashing? Obviously, that's running to show the display and how fast it's going. So, I haven't got a throttle connected yet, but I'm just going to connect the um, self-learning cables, and that will turn the wheel on. All right, that's the original one, maximum speed. And then that's this one. Maximum speed. Do. Put a little white mark on them. Oh, yeah, just stuff on, isn't it? <laughs> You've got to hold it for three seconds. Right, brand new one, and then our new one. They almost look like they're doing exactly the same. Is that on side 19 yet? Is that 19 now? Yeah. Still? Still yeah. 19? Yeah. Still 19? Yeah. 18. 
Right, so that, that should be matched. And then this goes this much faster. Sweet. Okay, so I've connected the main battery negative to the FBB and all of the balance leads are all connected and wired in. Um, I've got to plug that in yet, so I want to do that in just a moment. Um, and then I've just got to connect the cables to the XT60. So that should be good for 60 amps, um, which is well capable of what we're doing. Um, I'm using some stupidly gauged wire that is probably not needed and a over, total overkill, but it's all I've got, so I'm using it. So, yeah, I'm going to get that connected. Hopefully it all works fine. Um, I'm going to test it in just a second to make sure that all of these are wired up the right way. So with the black one to the next yellow cable, it should be 4.2 volts because I've fully charged it. So 4.2 across all of those and then connect it and jobs are good. Old shitty battery. No bigger battery. Bring out that voltage. It should go up to 54.8 maybe. I'm running on the new controller. I've also got the old controller running. Um, I'm just in um, learn mode to learn the sensors. And my clocks are working. Oh yeah, they haven't got lights. What a beast. Well, it started off pretty easy. Three cells there, three cells there. Then I end up with one fucking weird cell there that goes in a pack that's there. So I've ended up having to run bus bars externally outside the fucking pack. All the way bloody well round. What a fucking nightmare. But yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty damn good. If I must say so myself. Right then, see how it does. Well, that says 19, listen. Don't go above 19. Sweet. That'll do. 